Oh, hey, what's up, Mutantville? <clears throat> you got Johnny Brinso here back on another Johnny Brinso Wednesday for you. Um, seeing in a small piece of the set we put together for Mutitious Moore, which we filmed the first episode, or at least the bulk of the first episode of, this past Saturday. Um, Mutantville's on a new level now, so it, it was exciting to see us shoot our first project on said new level. We had about 17 people out, old friends and new, and uh, managed to have a really, really awesome production day uh, lasting about uh, 14 hours. So it was, uh, it was impressive, you know. We, uh, we had the entire studio space here, which essentially is my basement, converted to our <clears throat> makeshift Mutantville mothership alongside the theater, which uh, many of you have seen in previous videos. Um, features prominently in, in the first episode of Mutitious Morgue. Without, without spoiling anything, this sets up the uh, interaction between uh, all the characters that will be featured on the show and uh, it's the introduction of uh, the character of uh, Mutitia the movie goddess <laughs> and, and all the rest of them actually but uh, the story is uh, when she arrives to uh, Mutantville Productions for the first time to begin production uh, as the new host of the movie morgue. So, um, without uh, going into any detail about the plot, it's extremely funny. <laughs> I'll just give you that. Um, having read the script <clears throat> initially, I thought, yeah, it's pretty funny. But when I got here, you know, on set and saw people actually putting their, you know, their heart and soul into these lines, it, it was even funnier. So that, that's always a plus when you're when you're watching a production and you're and you're, you're having to hold back the laughter. So, uh, and and that's a departure for Mutantville Productions. We've had comic relief in various projects, but not outright comedy which is what you know, a movie morgue is you know it, it's it's a comedy so uh, but it's a comedy that all of twisted folks and genre fans like ourselves would appreciate so that, that's that's the idea behind it um, and the talent wow I mean some of the coolest people we've ever worked with really really cool um, <clears throat> so we spent Saturday all Saturday and really and then Sunday kind of recovering a little bit um, I paid a price for, for having folks in the house for so long, but that's okay. It was well worth it. But I did get a huge ass chewing from my wife, who uh, has recently been ill with, with her injury, you know, uh, and uh, you know how women are. They, they never think their house is ready to receive company. And because she couldn't be up and involved in the preparation, she, she definitely didn't think that things were up to her standard for uh, receiving um, guests, repelling borders, whatever. So, uh, but that's okay. Oh, Johnny Brento took one for the team, and, and I, I'm willing to do that. Um, <clears throat> moving right along, to not, I've been told the footage looks amazing, and I can actually believe that because a lot of great care was taken by uh, Gio Swanko and others with the lighting, and it looked really, really good. Um, I came into this expecting to be strictly producer um, and just support PA, production assistant, whatever, and uh, I got to get in on quite a bit of the puppetry of... Uh, uh, a new character you'll be seeing, Mutantville, uh, Mutie, the the uh, <laughs> the Mutantville Muppet, if you will, and uh, wow, that was really challenging. <laughs> I, I just didn't expect to be uh, to be out of position, and uh, you know, just and I hadn't really uh, just just didn't anticipate it. But it was a lot. Actually, a lot of people got the puppet uh, Mutie, but uh, it was a lot of fun. So uh, I got I did get to get my hands dirty on it, and virtually everybody who showed up in some way, shape, or form contributed to, pr to the production, and uh, it was. Uh, it was really cool. We really pulled together and I think pulled off a tremendous production day and just got a ton of stuff done. Um, interestingly, we'll be pulling the footage tonight and the idea behind this is <clears throat> I think ideally we'd love to produce one every month or so, you know, but uh, to be able to do that you have to work a lot faster than we've been accustomed to working with regards to editing and post post production. So um, this is going to be like a little test bed for us. and. Uh, but the good news for you is that as soon as we're done, you guys will see it. There's no waiting for a Tales from Mutantville DVD or a Ghost DVD. It's going to be online. So uh, free, freely available online. Definitely stay tuned to you know Mutantville.com. And of course, Mutisha the Movie Goddess fan page. Bing! Um, and you'll be able to see when that's coming and, uh, and be one of, among the first to, to view this new thing we call uh, the Mutisha's Movie Morgue. So... Uh, that's about it for Mutantville News. I'll be coming back to you next week, as promised, with a Johnny Brento's Juju, which includes 
something about Metatron files. There's some new props that I want to share, and I promised I would do it this week, but we were here in the movie morgue, and uh, I just felt like, um, you know, it was it was dressed up too cool not to not to feature it. Now, what I'm going to show you now is just a general tour of of the uh, of the studio area here and where we're shooting and producing Mutitious Movie Morgue. Um, the set was dressed a little fancier, but a lot of folks brought props to include posters and props and things of that nature. And some of the posters came down because they were just kind of temporarily affixed. And uh, like for example, Scarecrow at Midnight, which was supposed to be left here but didn't get left and uh, a lot of little props like that that were set up uh, in the theater area. We had it looking totally pimp though. It was awesome. And you couldn't look anywhere without seeing Mutantville or genre, you know? So that, that was pretty cool. And you know, we just layered it with uh, things from Mutantville's long history of kicking ass in uh, independent filmmaking and genre entertainment. You're watching Mutant TV.